Double finger this. Smooth as butter. Hello everyone. Today is going to be epic. Because I... Wait, wait. No, that's... Somebody else says that, I think, right? Uh, what do I usually say? Um, I don't know. What, what do I say? Okay. It's about to go down. Because I just got a brand new bike. So, obviously, in the box is clearly a Specialized. But the type of Specialized that it is, I'm going to keep secret and let you guys find out as we start to disassemble this thing. It's one of the coolest bikes, in my opinion, that they currently offer. It's got one of the coolest specs on it, one of the nicest specs, as far as the build kit goes. And one of the coolest color schemes offered on any of the bikes. So I'm really, really stoked to get this thing. I've never ridden one before. This will be my first time ever having this particular bike and also ever riding it once it's all built up. So that'll be really, really interesting. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one. And I've got some new parts that I'm gonna kind of swap some stuff out as I'm building it up. So I'm gonna make it big boy approved. So I got that going for this build. But other than that, let's get this thing apart. Let's start building it. But first, a little soda, little little bike building soda. Yes, cheers. All right, let's get this going. Let's see, do you have any ideas yet? Honestly, probably the thumbnail probably shows exactly what bike it is. So I don't even know why I'm keeping it secret. So, I'm gonna pull it out. Oh wait, one sec, the seat's caught. Oh. You guys ready for this? Whoa. <laughs> you know what it is yet? <laughs> you probably have, I, I don't know if you, can, you, you know what it is or not, but there it is. <laughs> Let's get these going here. Yes. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Yes. Great success! Get off of there. Starting to be able to see more and more. Oh! Kashima coated Fox Factory 36. Oh, yeah, I had, to, I had to double check. 36. I have never had one of these forks ever before. Wow. <laughs> I feel lightheaded. It's 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 it doesn't feel real. This is so cool. Alright, so I've got some new bars that I'm gonna be putting on this. So I'm gonna take off the bars that are currently on here. I also have some new grips. Spare tool here. Oh god, I just hit the frame. Oh no. Okay, I need to be very careful here. Oh Jesus! They hit the Kamshima. Oh there we go. Oh you're free! It always puts so much stress on me when this thing is, is bent over. I know it's not gonna do anything, but it still makes me super nervous to see that. So up front, the bike comes stocked with a Deity Copperhead stem. This is the 50 mil size. I might try the 35 mil size. We'll give this a go for now. But obviously with a Deity stem, it can only be paired with one thing. And that's Deity bars. Right here, I've got the high side 50 mil rise bars. These are my favorite bars right now. They're awesome. And I got them in a sick bronze color to match the bronze paint job on here and the Kashima. Look at that. Look how perfect that matches. So I'm gonna get these things on here, have a good little rise to them. It's gonna be freaking dialed. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. The bike comes with this piece right here. And essentially what it is is like some kind of, I, I don't know, a washer or a fitting, some kind of fitting. But but basically what it does is it sits right here. Now you can see there's already one in there that comes stock on the bike. That's at a neutral headset angle. This additional piece the bike comes with, you can see has a negative one degree and a positive one degree. So that can literally, the bike literally has three different head tube angles you can set it at. One, de or one degree forward, neutral, or one degree back, which is super, super nice. So I'm gonna swap it out, set it as, as slack as it can possibly go so that it's gonna be all the way back, and that should be money. I haven't even had the bike for like 10 minutes, and I'm already, completely messing with it. <laughs> oh, 
thing hasn't even been on a ride yet and I'm already destroying it other than a little little scuff right there it's dialed it's totally fine I think double finger this yeah look at that smooth as butter watch this this is my finger boom popped right out just like that there's the old one the new one and I'm gonna do something probably shouldn't do. I'm going to grab the grease from the old one and just stick it on the new one. Ah. I'm pretty sure most shops have like a tool for this. Now, I'm going to not drop the fork this time. Ooh, nice bearings, brand new bearings. Ah. Ah. Yes. All right, so the front is done. Now it's time to do the back, the rear triangle adjustment. And to do that, we gotta take off the rear wheel. So I'm gonna do that in a moment. And then if you come up close over here, if I show you, you see that little hickey do right there? It's two different settings, all the way forward, all the way back. And we gotta put that bolt back this way. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then loosen that. Oh, look at that brought up like that. So basically what's happening is I'm pulling the linkage up and now that's slackening the bike. So the bottom bracket's coming a little bit lower to the ground. And then these bolts, I just literally just put it back in in the opposite direction of what it was or in the... The opposite or... No, it's... It, instead of it being forward... Wait, wait. Instead of, yeah, instead of it being forward, I'm, it's going this way. It's hard to explain. It's easier when it's in front of you, but I don't know how to explain it. Yep, that's torqued down. Torque to spec. So now, coming back up to the front, gonna get all the brakes and derailleur stuff all get on the bars. Oh. I probably should use the tool for that. Try my best not to scratch the bars. Ooh. Beautiful. All right, next, throwing the grips on. I'm trying out these new ones. They're called the DMR Death Grips. I'm probably heard of them never tried it before so this will be my first time ever trying those things next we're gonna get the derailleur all dialed in all you gotta do is just run the line through and then tune it or something i don't know we'll just we'll just wing it yes see that requires elite level performance so i'm like running this thing through and then all of a sudden stops going I'm like what's going on it usually just goes right through well there's no other way to say this but I, I ran the derailleur line through to the dropper post cable rather than running it through the derailleur cable so we're gonna pull that out and restart that process through the correct <laughs> through the correct one um, that's definitely correct there so what I've done there basically is I pushed the derailleur and I held it in and then tightened the cable at the top of the, the chain ring. That's definitely not how you're supposed to do that, but let's see if it'll work. If I get this perfectly the first time and it shifts perfectly to every single one of the gears the first time, you have to subscribe and you have to like the, the video here. So, and, and you have to share it to your friends. So let's see if I did it. Okay. Okay. No way. No way, dude. I mean, that's pretty much like 99% there. Go subscribe, go like, go share to a friend. So now the wheel's coming back off because arguably, no, I'm not even arguing, no, unarguably the most important task on this bike to do is to finally install the Kush Core. Watch this, totally normal rim, no tire irons, just my bare hands. 
Look at that. Get some. I don't need tools around here. Are you, who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Throw one of the fresh Cush Core valves in there. All right, gonna get brand new tire. Springtime is coming up, so I'm gonna be running the Butcher Great Gravity. This thing's awesome when it's kind of slightly wet, but kind of dry and you have varying conditions. I absolutely love this tire from the trails around here during this time of year. So that's the tire of choice right now. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I line up my valve stem because it's green to the little specialized logo that's up here. Cause this thing, I don't know if you can see that on video, but it's like, it's like a translucent golden green color. So I think it matches really well. So I usually just put the specialized logo right over the, the valve stem right there. Beautiful. Let's get some sealant in here. You know, one of the things that cracks me up about the sealant, so Specialized sells the tubeless sealant. And one of the things that's hilarious about it is, look, it comes in something that looks like a water bottle, but in order for people, like th <laughs> this tells you the state of our world right now. Look at what it's, look at what they have to put. Do not drink right on the bottle. It's like, of course don't drink this. <laughs> but I should be able to just get it on, on a brand new rim. Brand new sealant, brand new Kush core, brand new tire, and no tools. So, Kush core is not that hard to install, but let's see if I can do it with no tools. I do it all the time. So, we get the last little bit of a bead there, right? Let's see if I can do it. Pop that in. Am I gonna do it? Did I just do it? I did indeed just do Kush core. No tools whatsoever. Boom. Ah, I just realized something. <laughs> Tires on the wrong way. Ah! All right, no problem. I'll just switch it out and then do the front tire. And then when I clap my hands, it'll all be done. All right, tires are done. They're on. They're both facing the correct direction. So that's good, Kush core is in, seal it done, it's all good to go. So it's still winter here in California, which means the mud fender is absolutely necessary. So I'm just gonna stick that bad boy on there. So this is definitely the correct tool for this. Yes. Yeah. This is definitely how you do that. Oh, oh. I gotta stop hitting the bike. I think that's how you install that. Just wing it and find out. All right, dialed. Woo! Dang, that looks sick. Wow. <laughs> Definitely coming together. This thing looks so dialed. So I've got the one up dropper post here that I'm supposed to be installing and Usually there's a formula or something that you have to do for the cable, because obviously this is going to be sucked back into the frame. There's usually a formula of how much you cut off of it, but I couldn't be bothered. So what I'm going to do instead is just wing it. Maybe that's okay. We'll just go with it. <laughs> Quite literally perfect. You see, you guys think about things too much. Just sometimes you just gotta wing it and it works out perfectly. <laughs> it's done.
have it, the new Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Alloy Elite. I cannot wait to go ride that thing. I love how it came out. The color scheme is amazing. The parts, everything, I just, I've, I'm, I'm in love with it completely. Now, all I gotta do is just get up there, get on the mountains and go shred it. But that will be for another video because it's still kind of wet. Well, by kind of wet, it's extremely wet. We've been getting tons of rain over the last few days. So, gonna wait a few days. But then I promise I'm going to go out first ride. I'm going to film it. So make sure to go subscribe if you have not already. Hit that like button. Click the bell for notifications just like every other YouTube ever says in the world. And I'll see you guys on the next one.